Several areas we are watching closely for some heavy downpours, and now we are starting to get reports of flash flooding in one area in particular, that is in the Lancaster City area or just east of Lancaster City on Route 30, where we do have some reports of some water rescues taking place near Dutch Wonderland on Route 30, where the, apparently what we hear is that Route 30 itself is covered with water with those water rescues. So. I want to stress this. We want to be aware of what's going on with the weather. If it's uh, raining very hard where you are, we could see those rain levels or those water levels moving up very quickly here. Some water on the roadways. Let's look at radar here and just over the past couple of hours, this is one area I've been stressing over the last hour or two. Right here around Lancaster City, where the rain started heavily near Bird in Hand, just to the north and west, it spread down across Route 30. Of course, here is where the Dutch Wonderland area is and the outlets on Route 30. And now we've started to see that back building stretching all the way down Route 30 west of Lancaster City. It's just to the south of the city right now, actually raining in the city as we speak. And then we go into eastern York County. And this is the area right here where I am concerned, and we are already seeing those reports of flash flooding taking place as we speak. If you are in this area and you are going out and about. Be aware of that. Do not drive on those flooded roadways. We say it all the time. Turn around. Don't drown. It's not worth it. Give yourself an extra few minutes as you're out and about. Farther to the northwest, there's not much going on, but we do have some heavy downpours very close to Harrisburg at this time and moving down to the south and to the east. The reason for all this heavy rainfall, A, the humidity. B, we have a frontal boundary that has stalled out. And we're, we are watching those downpours forming right along that boundary, and they are not moving. These are very slow movers. We have had radar estimates of over three inches of rain in about three hours, very close to that Dutch Wonderland area on Route 30 in Lancaster County. So this evening, we will be dealing with these showers and thunderstorms, very slow moving. That flash flooding risk is certainly a possibility. But as the sun sets, a lot of this will begin to die down, and that is the good news here. Into tonight, partly cloudy skies. Besides an isolated shower or thunderstorm, most of us will stay dry, but it will be very muggy. Then we head into tomorrow, low 90s for those highs, partly sunny skies. Watching for more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Again, highs in the low 90s. Heat index values could be near 100 degrees tomorrow. The, sh the showers and thunderstorms at this point looks like about a 30% chance. Heading into our Friday, it looks like a dry day overall, mostly sunny skies and hot and humid once again. Low 90s in those heat index values mid to upper 90s, so a hot stretch we are in right now. Weather and your health as we go into tomorrow, the pollen and mold levels on the low side, air quality is moderate, and our UV index tomorrow is, uh, is at a 9. Your burn time there is about 15 minutes. Rain cool there in our eastern counties around Lancaster. Again, that's where we have the problems, but where we have the sunshine, the heat and humidity, 80s, in fact, near 90 degrees in both the, the uh, Chambersburg area and around Gettysburg. Dew points, that tells the story. Low 70s, very tropical, very sultry feeling air mass, and that is what these showers and storms are able to tap into, putting down those torrential rainfall totals. It feels like the low to mid 90s in the west. As we head into uh, farther to the south, DC feels like 37 degrees. So, showers and thunderstorms right now, that activity will begin to die down this evening. Here's what it looks like on Predictor. And then we will watch for another front arriving tomorrow. So the clouds may be around tomorrow morning. Those will clear out as we watch this next front approaching in from the west. That could trigger additional showers and thunderstorms. The timing on that looks like later in the day towards the evening hours before that front clears through. But it still will be a hot and humid one for us into our Friday. We do get some relief on Saturday and we go down into the mid 80s for those highs. Then we stay uh, into the mid to upper 80s on Sunday. Some showers and storms possible on Monday and Tuesday. And now let's head over to Corinne Lillis in the Lancaster Toyota Traffic Center for a traffic update. Well, thank you, Matt. Good evening, everybody. We are seeing a lot of issues on 30. Both directions right now are closed because of the wet roads. A lot of flooding. People are trapped in their cars right now. PennDOT tells me that they are sending boats in actually to rescue people from their cars. And look at the map here. You can see we have about a four-mile stretch of delays. This is eastbound if you are traveling that way, but both directions are closed. This is just east of Dutch Wonderland, and PennDOT tells me this is where they typically see a lot of flooding. It is prone to flooding, so do not drive on the roads right now if you can avoid that. We're also seeing some flooding here on Lampeter Road at Longfellow Drive that is slowing things down in West Lampeter Township and East Lampeter Township in general. Very slow. An accident in the city reported on North Market Street at West Orange Street, slowing things down there. And as we zoom out and take a look at the bigger picture, you can see there is flooding all across the Susquehanna Valley, but our trouble spots right now are definitely Lancaster County and parts of York County as well. This Lancaster Toyota traffic report is brought to you by Lancaster Toyota. Choose your new 2016 Camry today with 0% financing or $2,500 cash back from Toyota. Your new Camry is ready today at Lancaster Toyota today. Back to you.